Hi, I'm Mike with Utastic, sitting here with Sean Massa and Todd Larson, who are involved with the uh, the uh, Chicago Node.js community. Hi, guys. Uh, can you tell a little bit about what what you guys are doing with Node here in Chicago? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, the group started in about March of 2011, so I think we've had like 16 meetups so far. So it's not really new, but it's not really that yeah. old either. Um, it's like middle age for yeah. <laughs> user group. I suppose it is. Uh, but we do have like over 450 registered members too, so it's definitely something that the community has been interested in since we started it. Uh, but yeah, we just get together every month and talk about what's going on with Node, what people are working on, what packages are coming out, so what philosophies people are coming up with in conventions and yeah. stuff like that. Node is one of those communities that's really come up really fast. Oh yeah, I mean, super fast. Faster than Ruby. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I just kind of wonder if some of that is because people have been doing JavaScript, so they'd already kind of accepted JavaScript, and now it's just, oh, I can do some more with the language. Has that been something? Do you get a lot of people who have like a lot of JavaScript experience but no nodes that want to learn Node? I mean, what, what's kind of the audience? What I've kind of noticed is it's actually more people that come from other uh, maybe back-end technologies mm -hmm. wanting to learn about Node. Uh, there are definitely mm -hmm. people that have transitioned from like front-end, strictly front-end development, mm -hmm. doing JavaScript, and now they... Um, kind of want to move into the back end sort of things. Yeah. Yeah, but they also, you'll get the people who just do a little bit of JavaScript, maybe just some jQuery stuff, and then Node actually legitimizes JavaScript for them, and they start to get more interested in not just Node, but even more advanced, like, client-side libraries. Too. Okay. And, you know, that also, uh, do you have, a, like, a more mixed audience at your meetings? Uh, because, you know, Node, like, Ruby doesn't have the greatest story on Windows, but Node seems to have been really... Embraced by like Azure, like I know the Azure group, and mm -hmm. they they run Node. Do you get a more of a mixed bag of attendees? Or? Oh yeah, it's we have actually a surprising amount of Windows people that yeah. come in. Yeah, um, it's definitely you know Linux people because Node is multi-platform. That's yeah. one of the big selling points. We definitely get a bigger uh, spread of people. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so a little bit more mixing at mm -hmm. this. Yeah, and a, a large spread of uh, skill level as well. It's not just mm -hmm. like people who were hardcore into Node when it first came out. It's yeah. some people who had never touched it, and some people who've written their own packages. And okay, do you guys thing. do you guys do any hack meetings, or is it mostly like presentation style? Or um, we're trying to switch it up a little bit. We've done some workshops. Yeah, we did the open source workshop that yeah. you led. That went really well. Mm -hmm. um, I think it seems like our most popular one so far has been the full stack. Talk and then yeah. some of our packages, uh, the package show and tell, where people can come and kind of get a broader view of the current state of Node.js. Okay, yeah. and you know, Sean, you you have a background working with uh, Alt.net. Mm -hmm. Todd, I don't know what your your background is, but uh, you know, how does this community? How have you seen? Can you describe at all? Maybe the difference you've seen going to Alt.net meetings versus Node. Meetings like is is there been a different vibe aside from maybe it's a little fresher and newer? Uh, yeah, a little bit. In a lot of ways, they're sort of similar. Like it's it's a little bit more pragmatic and uh, a little bit more thinking up front. I think, but I felt that Alt.net was more like we don't have to do everything with the official Microsoft packages. Right. Whereas Node is. We don't have to do anything with anyone's package. <laughs> like, I'm just going to make this tiny little package for this thing that I need, or just consume this other tiny little package. Mm -hmm. It's all that Unix philosophy, like do one thing and do it well. Just small things. Yeah. Can, okay. And that's been really helpful for the community, I think, because you people do make these large frameworks. Like mm -hmm. people have tried to replicate Rails in Node.js and stuff yeah. like that. I Was it the Express? That Express is a really thin layer. Okay. Um, but they've gone like way beyond that and tried to, <laughs> like really you could write code that looks like it's Rails code almost in CoffeeScript, for example. Oh, cool. Um, but, I mean, those things are going to pop up regardless, but I think the overall community is really focused on like the smaller bits. Like I'm just going to write an Express app, which is mm -hmm. analogous to Sinatra and Ruby. Right. Um, and then just pull in the tiny pieces I need instead of starting with some overarching framework. Do you typically meet, um, just back to the meeting from it, do you typically meet once a month? Like, what, what's the ballpark? Where do you guys meet at? We do uh, once a month, but at the rate of things changing. Sometimes it feels like we should do them more frequently. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, we, we stick to once a month, uh, yeah. third Tuesday yeah, of every month. Yeah, third Tuesday of every month. Yeah. And uh, now there's the, also the Chicago JavaScript. Do you have any cross-pollination with uh, what they're doing? I mean, or is, is there enough crossover in the topics? 
We haven't had any sort of official crossover. Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely something that we've been wanting to do, but I guess I just sort of forgot about it. You see a lot of same faces. In yeah, you will, yeah. Though. Yeah, there's definitely a uh, attendee overlap. Okay. Yeah, but it's different enough, like, Node.js versus the client-side frameworks. Yeah. Also, like, one's more focused on front end -y UX mm -hmm. implementation. Versus, more traditional uses yeah. of JavaScript. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much, guys, for taking the time awesome. to talk to me. Thanks for having sure. us.